Cell block three west. 14 housing units on this floor. You don't want to stay longer than you have to. Any given day, any given time, anything can occur. We have inmate on inmate assaults. I mean, there's mutual combat in this facility regularly. And it's day. constant? It's constant, yes. The rip lady. Males on the range. But if you work for Deputy Chief Tanisha Creer, it pays big to stay as long as you can. Sounds like a job that should pay six figures. It sounds like it. Overtime at the Marion County Jail has skyrocketed by 535% from just 676000 in 2014 to more than $3.5 million in 2017, an astronomical difference of nearly $3 million, and we had to know why. The simple answer, they can't keep enough guards on staff. As I stand here today, they have more than 900 people in this jail, more than 100 people on this floor, and only three deputies on this floor to make sure they're doing what they're supposed to do, and they are drastically and dangerously understaffed. For myself, anywhere between four to six hours of overtime a day, and maybe one or two days off, I'd come in. On your day off? On my day off, I would work as well. Deputy Kenyon Sincere Ladies, cover up. is not alone. He's just one of several deputies making tens of thousands of dollars over his base salary at taxpayer expense. We had the timesheets that show deputy after deputy clocking hundreds of hours worth of overtime. This guard worked more than 1,700 overtime hours in 2017, effectively working the equivalent of two full-time jobs at one place, the Marion County Jail. This guard's timesheet shows the deputy clocking 11 extra 12-hour shifts in one month. In 2017, he ended up one of the highest paid employees in all of Marion County at $105,000, several thousand more than their boss who runs the entire jail. At the end of the year, there was a deputy, I won't give his name, and the amount of money he made more than I did at the time. We thought, how does that happen? Well, he was working double shifts for months upon months. The numbers, shocking even for newly elected Sheriff Kerry Forrestal. I think there's no doubt it puts strain on people. We sat down with Forrestal within days of his taking office, asking why this excessive overtime is adding up. He admits they can't hire guards fast enough. That's why I'm working to raise the pay and reduce the number of hours that they would have to work. In the past seven months, I've done approximately 628 hours of overtime. Most guards who don't take all that overtime quit within a year or two leaving a constant 70 to 80 vacancies. A recent city-funded jail audit blamed the resignations on the pay scale. Third-year jail deputies make a little over $38,000. Third-year indie police officers get more than $68,000, a difference of $30,000. We volunteer. I mean, I don't want to see somebody get hurt just because deputy or inmate wise just because we don't have the staff. Deputy Joseph Lavalvo says he's never been forced to work overtime but all that OT does take its toll. Do you get worn down? Do you get stressed out? Stressed out yes but it's the job. You do see health problems for the employee. You see the potential, a greater potential for mistakes. You see a lot of the negative consequences. UND professor and researcher Kevin Whiteacre says the sheer number of hours being worked by these deputies raises serious questions about safety. Everybody has a responsibility to help with this problem, this big problem. Sheriff Forrestal takes these concerns seriously. So if someone's working 1,600, 1,700 hours, what concerns do you have about their safety when they're in there that long? There's no doubt that the exposure they're put to every day is a dangerous situation. All jails are. It's, it's never going to be a safe place. We need it to be the safest place that we can. Elected leadership turned a blind eye. For years, Forrestal's predecessor, former Sheriff John Layton, made it clear he needed help. The Marion County Sheriff's Office desperately needs more jail personnel. He focused on raising their salaries to stop so many from quitting. So it's not like they're getting rich here. We just want to be fair. Are you concerned about the burnout issue and, I am. and what that means? I am. I think that is a constant strain on people. Do you like doing it this way or would you prefer it not be this way? I would love it to be fully staffed, but if this is the way it has to be done and I have to come in for overtime to make sure my, my fellow employees, my friends, my relatively family to be safe, I'll do it this way.